One thing I wanted to share with you about what happens when you are alone, when you live like a hermit, what happens when you... What happens to me now, it's been five days without speaking without, with anybody. It was five days of intense meditation from morning to, to evening and to night. So you change, your energies change, you go really high and it is really evident when you meet some people such as for example when I go to that what they call sacred site that place that site in the forest with, with these formations and stones uh, people go there some people go there and 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 I see some people there so I'm trying to avoid them as much as I can that is also why I have sunglasses with me I don't really want to see them, I don't really want to speak with them uh, it almost feels as if I would feel like a certain paranoia of being with people it's not paranoia, it's not really fear I'm not afraid, I could go and speak with anybody right now I could go and give a speech to hundreds of people right now, no problem about that but I'm just so aware that every encounter with, with other people would affect my energy right, right right now my energy is like really high and all of these spiritual processes processes that are happening within me are are active so every encounter with other people I can really feel it. it's like boom it's like it is affecting the processes that I'm living within myself it is affecting these spiritual processes so that's why that's why when you go for intense transformations, that's why when you go to retreat, you avoid seeing people, you avoid being, you avoid seeing people or being seen by people, right? Not because you are afraid, even though you may feel sometimes as if you are kind of afraid, but it's not really fear, I would say it is, you are just aware that your energies are really different now and every encounter with other people would make your energies just go down, it's just like fall down. So it's nice to share with people, it's nice to be with people, but I see some people over there. So I'm going now, okay? <laughs> I don't want any encounter with people. <laughs> um, so you avoid people. And yeah, what I wanted to say is that it's nice to share your energies, it's nice to be with people, but I have been giving courses and teaching people for for one year, and right now I want to have some time for myself, like go and dedicate some time just for myself, this retreat, and one week is, after one year is nothing, okay, so I think I really deserve it, and I, I don't need to <laughs> see anybody right now. The only communication I have is with the camera, with you, and and that's it. And uh, yeah. And uh, people find it interesting. Why, why the Lama? Why do you wear military uniform? Why do you like these military colors and such? For me it's not military that I represent, for me it's the, basically it's the color of nature. And when I'm alone, when I go to the retreat, I don't want to be seen by people. So that's why I, ch I choose this color, that's why I choose the camouflage color, right? It's not that I love war or something, it's because uh, these clothes, this, this color is the color of nature for me. And also military stuff is usually stuff that is designed for outdoors, is, this, is stuff that works, resistant and, and yeah, good stuff. So I love it. And also a funny thing may be that, you know, even if people see me in nature somewhere, but they see me with this military clothes and this big knife hanging or in my hand, they think I'm a soldier, they think, you know, and 
they don't want to have anything to do with me. So they prefer not to see me, they prefer not to approach me and basically I'm left alone. Nobody bothers me because nobody wants to have any problems with this military intimidating looking guy with a big knife. <laughs> so that's why you could dress as a soldier yourself as well when you go to your retreat. And again just wanted to repeat that on a retreat you're meditating a lot and you are living these transformations within yourself and certain spiritual processes become activated in you so basically that's a process that you have to be in and just keep on meditating and being alone and let that process transform you but every encounter with other people would kind of deactivate this process so your energies would just go down really quickly and uh, this transformation process that you were living would become kind of deactivated and uh, that's what you don't want if you are opting for a spiritual thing for a spiritual transformation consciousness transformation you don't really want to see or be with any people while you are on a retreat okay did i explain it understandably <laughs> so so that is something so special about being on a retreat you can meditate of course you can meditate when you every day you know in, in your daily life and that is something that you should do that is something that I do you know usually I meditate like the light is better like that okay so usually I meditate myself like I try to meditate like four hours every day but usually I make it the last month I would make it only like one or two hours in my daily life but you don't go really deep even if you do like four hours of meditation and on the other side when you go for a retreat you can go real deep because you are not seeing other people because you're not exposed to other circumstances and energies and that really helps your spiritual transformation if you want to go really quick on your spiritual unfoldment retreat is the word you should know